I got my hands on the new Bath & Body Works Summer Body Care Collection. So we're gonna talk about this today, including these possible Sol de Janeiro dupes. We're gonna compare them to the originals, see how they are, what the longevity is, and all of that. I have a couple more new summer mists as well that I wanna share with you as well. So we're gonna be talking about some new body care today. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I did film a video last week going over some sneak peeks, including a little bit of this collection and I had a very strong feeling that Bath & Body Works was trying to dupe Sol de Janeiro with these new mists because first of all the colors Second of all, the notes seemed very similar. So I was like, I know they're trying to dupe them and I was so curious to see how these would compare because I did ask a little bit of my audience. I know I have a lot of followers that work at Bath & Body Works and some of you guys said they are dupes, some said they're not, some said there's some slight differences, but I will say, I think these are pretty, pretty close dupes and I am gonna go over each scent. Now, these actually did release online yesterday. So you can go ahead and get your hands on these if you guys wanna place an online order. They will be in stores next week, Monday. I think that's the 12th. It's either the 12th or the 13th, I'm not exactly sure. But next Monday, you can find these in stores. But yeah, they are available to purchase right now. So let's go over all three scents. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one, I feel like this is kind of the most anticipated. This is called Vacation Vibe, which is called Whipped Pistachio in Amber, which does have those two notes in it, as well as a sun-drenched jasmine. So originally, I kind of figured that this would be kind of close to the original Sol de Janeiro 62, which I do have right here. This one's described as a pistachio in salted caramel, but on the back, it also has jasmine petals. Uh, I don't see any amber in the notes but I feel like amber just kind of smells very sweet anyway so I feel like a lot of sweet notes can be similar to like an amber scent. I have been wearing each of these scents for a couple days now. I would spray one arm with the Sol de Janeiro and one with like the dupe from Bath and Body Works and yeah I feel like all three of these honestly are very very close and I do think that these can definitely be considered dupes. It's definitely one of the closest fragrance mists that I have found duping Sol de Janeiro. Now the major difference with these, I do find the Sol de Janeiro ones to be quite stronger. When I smell this on my wrist that's been on a few hours now, I can smell this right away. This one, the Bath & Body Works site is a little more faint. So. I do think that the Sol de Janeiro ones do last longer and they are stronger just in general. I do kind of wonder what is going on because online only had like the sprays and the shower gels. In store, I can only get the sprays or the shower gels, but I thought they were doing a whole line. I think they're still coming out with more, so I think we will see this in body cream. I know they're also supposed to have a shimmering body oil too, which I definitely want to get my hands on. That just seems so exciting to me. I love a good body oil, and I think those products are definitely what's going to make this last a bit longer because you kind of need those layers when it comes to these fragrance mists. Of course, you can layer this also with your Sol de Janeiro spray. You can layer it with the Pistachio Please from Finery, whatever you guys want to do. But yeah, I, I can't wait to get in that either body cream or body oil to really make this scent project a bit more because that's just the key to having your fragrances lasting long, either A, you need to spray a ton of it, or B, you need to layer it up, and that's my best advice. Anyways, smelling these two side by side, I find them to be very, very similar. Now, if you're kind of wondering like what this smells like, it's such, I feel like it's kind of a hard one to describe. It's definitely like a very sweet, almost summer tropical pistachio, definitely caramelized in there. One of my favorite scents from Sol de Janeiro, and I'm excited to see Bath & Body Works have a certain version of it because, I mean, these scents are so popular. The whole Sol de Janeiro brand is the number one, like, best-selling brand on Sephora, over makeup, over skincare, and everything. People do go crazy for these scents because they know how to make some good sweet smells if you're a gourmand lover. Now, is this, like, a better deal? Is this something that you should go for? instead of the Sol de Janeiro. I will say the Sol de Janeiro mists are not that expensive. Uh, since they are not like perfumes, they don't run like over 
$50 or anything like that. Now, the small size that I have, this is a three ounce size, and the Bath & Body Works spray, this is an eight ounce size. Now, the three ounce from Sol de Janeiro is going to retail for $24, and they rarely have sales or deals. You can sometimes get 20% off here and there on Sephora, but it's very rare. Now the 8 ounce Sol de Janeiro size, which is equivalent to the Bath & Body Works spray, is going to be $38. So if you're going by that, there's definitely a pretty big price difference. The Bath & Body Works sprays are $17.95, so about $18, which is definitely expensive. I would say at that point, you know, you're almost better just going with the original, but then you have to keep in mind Bath & Body Works does much more sales and you can sometimes get their mist for like $6, $5, buy three, get three free. So then that becomes a steal when you can get it at that price for sure. And definitely I would pick the Bath & Body Works over Sol de Janeiro, but if you're looking for like the most strength overall, I think Sol de Janeiro, you're just gonna get a bit more out of. I would say the longevity is close, but if you want a stronger scent in general, the Sol de Janeiro, I can definitely smell more, where with the Bath & Bioc spray, I have to get super close to it. But I do, I do think it is a really great option, but nothing really compares to the Sol de Janeiro creams though. I would definitely pair this with the body cream from Sol de Janeiro. Their scents, they last longer, they keep really well. The Bath & Works body creams tend to go bad a little faster, but I've noticed my Sol de Janeiro ones, they last a long time. Like I've had some that are three years old and it's still the same formula. They also have a really nice consistency, the super moisturized, and the creams from them are very strong. So I think like maybe pair this with the Sol de Janeiro body cream, but I am definitely curious to try the body oil that Bath & Body Works is coming out with. All right, so that's just a little comparison with the price and sizing. Let's do the next scent. So next we have Bath & Body Works Pink Paradise, and this one is very similar to the Sol de Janeiro Churosa 68. And if you guys are familiar with the 68, you know it's also similar to like a Baccarat Rouge or a Ariana Grande Cloud, but like slightly a little bit more floral than those, but it's that same kind of airy, burnt sugary sweet type of smell that I just love. So this has pink dragon fruit, wild hibiscus, and blush moss. I have no clue what blush moss is supposed to smell like. And then the Sol de Janeiro one has pink dragon fruit, lychee essence, Brazilian jasmine, ocean air, hibiscus, sheer vanilla, and sun musk. These two I do find to be extremely, extremely close. It like definitely captured the Sol de Janeiro for sure, where it does have that little bit of floral element that's not as much in like the Ariana Grande cloud. I find these almost to be the closest of all the dupes. These are almost like spot on to me. If you've never tried 68, I don't get as much as like a super fruity dragon fruit, which maybe dragon fruit is more of a mild sweet scent, um, but it doesn't go super fruity. I get more of just like an airy, sugared scent with a little bit of floral in the background. It is beautiful and these are definitely very spot on dupes in my opinion, but like I said, I do think that the Sol de Janeiro one is a bit stronger. You can notice it a little bit more on the skin than the Bath & Body Works one. Last in this collection, we have the yellow one. This is Solar Shine, which is definitely duping the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance. The notes include Radiant Coconut, Sunlit Tuberose, and Bronze Tonka, and the Rio Radiance is Solar Tuberose and Lit de Coco. On the back, it does say it's a solar scent with white florals, creamy coconut milk, and the warmth of sun on the sand. So it has a little bit of similar notes. Now in this one, I almost feel like the Bath & Body Works scent is stronger. I don't know if they just kind of have that kind of solar floral note nailed down, but it almost seems like the Bath & Body Works is a little bit stronger. I do notice maybe the most differences within these two. I don't find them to be spot on. I do feel like this Bath & Body Works Solar Shine is something that they've had before. I could be wrong, but it's just such a typical solar, which means kind of like a sunscreen floral, a white floral. You don't, you're not really getting 
like a super creamy sweet coconut it's like a maybe a coconut milk it is nice it's not like the sweetest but it's definitely more of like your sunscreen scent which i feel like we've had a lot of in the past like tropidelic last year they had the cocoa paradise there's just like slight differences in the scents but it definitely seems like it is very similar to the rio radiance not the exact spot on same, but very, very close. If you guys like a kind of sunscreen scent to like put on in the summer, you can wear it with your sunscreen if you're out for the day out on the boat, at the lake, at the pool. These will pair really nicely because sometimes it's hard to figure out what fragrance to wear when you have this super strong sunscreen smell. Well, I would definitely go for the Solar Shine. I almost think that the Sol de Janeiro one has like a slight bit more coconut, like a tad bit more fruitiness. And the Bath & Byers one is just very like white floral sunscreen. So definitely some slight differences, but also very very similar i think that's definitely what they were going for with that one hopefully that was helpful kind of comparing the scents just kind of going over what my thoughts are so far but i'm excited about the line i am excited they did decide to dupe the sol de janeiro i know they're kind of doing a lot more dupes lately i feel like in the past they would kind of dupe scents but not purposely and I just feel like you know you know you couldn't really tell it was going to be a dupe but now they're definitely making it more obvious I mean we had that everyday luxury collection which I heard is coming back in the fall and now like this one was pretty obvious that it was going to be duping stuff and I don't know I kind of missed the old days when they didn't make it so obvious because now it just kind of seems like Maybe they're going in the direction of becoming more of a dupe brand. I mean, of course, still making some fun original scents as well, but I think they kind of realized that, you know, dupe scents do sell. People are looking for a more affordable option these days for some of our more expensive perfumes and fragrance myths. So I can definitely see why they're going this route. So I'm curious to see like what happens in the future, if they're going to be continuing along this, because I think the Everyday Luxury line did really, really well for them. Anyways, I will have these linked down below for you guys if you guys want to check them out. Um, I do have Bath & Byers affiliate links now, which is so exciting, so you can definitely use those if you want to support my channel. If you like my reviews, it always helps out. But I do have two more scents that I don't think these are available yet online that I wanted to go over as part of their summer collection. We also have the Firecracker Pop in this line um, as well. So first off, let's go for the fresh Amalfi lemon because I was so curious if I was going to like this one. I do I do love the packaging though. The packaging is gorgeous. I love that it looks just like painted on. The notes here include lemon leaves, chilled spearmint, cedarwood, citrus, and this actually used to be a candle scent that they brought into body care. So I wanted to go over this one with you guys. Now I'm not usually big on lemon unless it's a gourmand lemon like cake scent. Like I love me some lemon pound cake. So I just got a mist in this one because I honestly I don't know how I feel about it but I wanted to review it and you definitely get almost a, it, it does lean a little lemon cleaner it does to me as someone who doesn't wear a lot of lemon fragrances it just does remind me of lemon cleaner it does have like almost this like very tart citrus lemon but you do get the chilled spearmint that kind of gives it this like very cooling like minty vibe as it dries down the lemon does become a little bit more sugary sweet but think of it as like a very tart like lemonade i don't know if this is for me i'm probably not going to be picking it up in multiple forms but I could definitely see some people liking this one for summer to add just like a really nice fresh lemon that doesn't lean too gourmand because it has that like spearmint in there to really give it that more fresh take. And I think it's going to be gorgeous for summer, but this is one I will have to layer with something a little bit more sugary sweet, like maybe with a vanilla, like a vanilla lotion or something. Because I don't love it by itself. Definitely more of a lemon pound cake girl when it comes to these scents. But let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Is this something that intrigues you? Are you going to be picking it up? And then I also picked up the new Pride scent, The Love Always Wins. I don't know why I thought that this was going to be a repackage, but I totally forgot that they do like a new one in this scent every year. But I do find that they kind of lean a little similar every year for sure. They always go with something very light and fresh and like unisex that men or women could obviously wear. So this one is described as vibrant citrus and sage. The packaging looks very similar. I think to, was it last year's or the year prior? 
prior did they do? I think they did Sunwash Citrus last year, but this one has notes of Rainbow Citrus, Water Lotus, and Wood Sage, and this one, it's just very clean, light, fresh, very subtly fruity. It sweetens up as it dries down and almost becomes this like skin musk type of scent. I think if you like more of those kind of clean and fresh scents, you will really like this one, but it, I don't think it leans too masculine and it's not too femininely sweet either. This one is not a love fragrance for me. It's a likable one, but and it's not a dislike for me either, but it's definitely one I'm probably not gonna buy any more forms of. I have to really love a fragrance to buy a body cream or a shower gel and buy more of it, just because I have so many. I don't like to buy a ton of the lotions and stuff. I'm just sticking to the ones that I truly love and I know I'll use but yeah this one's just kind of mid for me but you guys know I'm a gourmand girl and that doesn't mean that you guys will not like it so definitely smell this one in stores see what you think if that kind of sounds like a scent that you would like so also when I was in store yesterday I picked up a couple of men's items I wanted to grab for my husband I've been hearing a lot about the first sight scent um, that it smells again like Baccarat Rouge which we were talking about earlier and I was so curious I remember smelling the cologne when it came out and I was like like, oh, this smells so good. Like, I really liked it. I never ended up picking it up, but then I've been hearing more and more. I smelled it again in store, and I was like, you know what? That does smell like Baccarat, but like a slightly more manly version of Baccarat. I definitely feel like In the Stars or The Pink Paradise is gonna definitely be closer to that Baccarat DNA. But I really liked that it was kind of a little bit of a more manly version of it. So I did grab the shower gel for my husband. I didn't love the body cream in this and I didn't pick up the cologne cause I felt like that would be I don't know, a little too sweet for him. Uh, Cause the cologne is what really reminded me of Baccarat. The body cream, not so much. And the shower gel is a little bit like it. So I did pick this one up. But yeah, now it's just kind of smelling like Baccarat, but add in like a little bit of cologne, like a little bit of woodsiness. This has Italian bergamot, rich woods, and sugared musk. And it's that sugared musk that always gets me with the Baccarat Rouge. So I did grab him that. I had like a little reward for it. And then they were running like a $20 off perfume and cologne sale yesterday. It might be over by now. Um, and I decided to grab him the coffee and whiskey scent. My husband's had the shower gel of this and I love how it smells. He's brought it with him on trips and it has gotten compliments on the scent. Like people wanted to go buy it. And so I thought I would go ahead and grab him the cologne as well. Coffee and whiskey is described as Irish whiskey, roasted coffee, and a hint of vanilla. Ugh, it is so good. And it's not ultra sweet. It has a rich woodiness too in the base, but you do get that like rich dark coffee note and like sweetness from the whiskey and slight vanilla. Honestly, get this for your man. It smells so good or any guys watching. This was gone for a bit, but now it is back in full forms at the store. So I was really glad I was able to get a little discount on the coffee and whiskey cologne. So that is what I got for the new Bath & Body Works summer collection and in a few weeks it'll be the semi-annual sale so I don't know if I'll be hauling much else I might pick up some of those body oils whenever those launch to go with this summer collection too um, but yeah I think my favorites from the line is definitely the vacation vibe and the pink paradise I just love these scents from Selena de Janeiro so those are my two must-haves and of course the coffee and whiskey for men I haven't heard an exact day on semi annual sale yet I keep hearing different things so I'm gonna wait a little bit more I've seen June 1 and I've also heard like the week before in May but I'm not quite sure. I think the f official date is gonna be June 1 when they actually set everything, but some stores might like put stuff out early. I don't really know what's going on, but it looks like June 1st, I think for some annual sale on that Saturday. So then we'll be able to get all our favorites discounted from this year. I think I do wanna film a ranking of the scents I've purchased so far in 2024 from Bath & Body Works. I haven't bought a lot of like new new ones because there's been a lot of repackages too. So we'll see if I do that. But I think that would be a fun one. And oh, I have that whole 
everyday luxury collection so I don't know if I should include that or not in the ranking I'm thinking of doing that before the sale and I'll definitely do a little semi-annual sale guide my picks any tips and tricks as well which we did go over some sneak peeks in my last video which I will link down below but that's me it for today I just I had to get my hands on this collection I've been so excited about it I definitely think they are really great Isol de Janeiro dupes if you're wondering and links again are down below if you guys want to check them out I know the lemon's not up yet and the um the love always wins is not up yet on the website but everything else should be I will let you guys go and I'll see you in my next video bye guys